What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be recording our actual first video with the G7X. So I hope you guys enjoy the quality, enjoy the footage. I have a little bit of acne. Don't worry about it. It's hot. It's hot out here. So I'm, I might be it's coming back just a little bit, but I should be able to get rid of it pretty soon, hopefully. I don't even know why I'm bringing this up. It, it shouldn't even be a factor, but some of you guys apparently look at that stuff over the content. So just has to be addressed. Anyways, it is a beautiful sunny day. Uh, we got a lot of things to do. Um, first off, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored. So normally I would not put LEDs into my three, I mean, you know, my M3, but I did think of an idea, so I took them up on their offer. They have like an LED uh, interior lighting kit, and typically I don't like that stuff, that, that stuff does not like reach out to me, but I thought about doing like an ambient lighting. I think that'd be kind of dope. I never see anybody try to do an ambient lighting in an M3 in any of the E90 chassis, mainly because there isn't room to put ambient lighting. So I have some leftover trim, I'm gonna go ahead Head, bring out cut it up and put the LED strips behind it hook it up and see how it looks if it looks good you know you guys just saw how I do ambient lighting um, this video will go up if it does back I'll return the sponsorship money because I'm not gonna make a shitty video all right guys so I was thinking about not removing the trim that's currently in my car and just using this extra trim that I got right here but then I realized there's not gonna be needing any cutting like you don't actually have to cut down here there is, like it's just a flat bottom, which is perfect. Like over here, you can actually see there is like a slight lip to it. I thought that it's gonna be a small little lip down here as well, but apparently there's no lip. So this actually may be a very easy install because there is a slight gap, as you guys can see from down here. It's gonna be very, very faded lighting. But I don't know if you guys knew, but on the E92s, at night, from there to there, and from there to there, there's already pretty much just ambient lighting, like this red or like yellowish or whitish. I think it's like a white, but maybe since my interior is red, it looks like it's red LEDs, looks really nice. So I'm gonna try to also just have a very low key lighting right here on my dash, see how it looks. Um, yeah, if it looks good, why not? Let's do it. For those of you guys who are still wondering what's going on with this trim piece, if you guys have this trim piece, hook a brother up. And if you have the trim piece up there, hook a brother up. Um, I cannot find them for my life. So yeah, this is the uh, company that sponsored the video. I think there's, you pronounce it Govi. Govi. So pretty dope. They sent out two of them. So I'm gonna be doing an install on this one. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox and install it. Now before we get into it, you guys know me. So I'm I'm, I'm being straightforward. I've already reached out to the company. I've told them, I was like, yo, if the product's garbage, I'm gonna mention it's garbage. So I have, I've had pretty bad luck with LEDs, some cheap LEDs, some of them that don't even work right out of the packaging. If any of these signs occur on the first box, I'm keeping the other box sealed. Like I'm just gonna do you this first box. Any issues with this first box, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know how it looks in person as well. I'll give you guys my honest opinion. I don't wanna sell you guys something that doesn't look good or something that would mess up your car. So I'm gonna obviously install you guys to check it out. Hopefully it's good, hopefully. Cause I mean, it would be pretty nice to have some ambient lighting, low key ambient lighting if there's some settings on here. I believe there is. So uh, let's just go ahead and try it. Man, it is super hot, super hot. Anyways, there's a lot of things here. I don't even know. There is a power button, there is some stuff. So let's go ahead and just plug it in and see you know how the quality is like before we actually start installing all this stuff because I don't want to want to install it the quality is on that great again I'm gonna be 100% honest so let's go ahead I like how it looks right here I like how there's some sticking pieces here you can just put it somewhere that's nice it'll just stay there that's pretty nice I like that so let's just go ahead um, I've never done LEDs before there is a whole bunch of wiring I want to see if I can cut some of it off because I don't need every single piece so if we can I'll do some research on that and we will but yeah let's just first check out how the lights look uh push on okay so definitely click the red button click the red button all right that's on oh damn all right so right off the bat these are very bright i don't know how i like i don't know how i feel about this setting right here see if you can turn the okay okay all right so you can just choose one color and that's something i'm not a big fan of leds how they're individually hopefully once you tuck them you won't see like individual lighting. Wow, this is actually really bright. See if you can lower down the brightness. Okay, so you can't turn down the brightness, but you can choose a color and just stay with it. Like I like this white. This is actually a really, really nice and bright white. So if I can put it down there, that really lights up the area. Actually, that looks really good. Ain't gonna lie, this white looks really good. So I might put some white LEDs down here and I still wanna try to see if I can get it behind the trim. I think that would look really badass. Uh, let me see if I could just retrofit it real quick just to see how typically it would look <coughs> So I don't want to go ahead and wrap all the wires and tuck it underneath all my trimming if I don't exactly like them So let's go ahead and see we're just gonna go ahead and set it all up turn on the LEDs see how they look and uh, Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looks right now without LEDs. I don't mind the messy car right now 
I didn't really change much since I got back from the LA trip. But yeah, that's all the LEDs right there. So yeah, this is how it looks right now. No LEDs, no nothing. Looks pretty good. I mean, nothing wrong with it. I love how it looks. But yeah, let's see how, uh, if the lighting would change much at all. So first off, I'm just gonna go open this real quick. Put this in the cigarette lighter. Okay. Uh, as far for the controller, the controller, if I ever ever going to mount it, I'll probably mount it onto the side like that. Maybe down here like that, upside down, somewhere to where it's on the side, it's nice, and I'll tuck the wires in. If I was to use this, I'll probably tuck the wires in back here. Uh, yeah, probably do something like that. You try to, honestly, but the thing is, I would probably not use this. I'd probably cut it and just tap it in somewhere because I like the cigarette lighter. But again, depending on what car you have, some cars, you can actually take this off. And there's a cigarette lighter down there, which works perfectly with this kit. So, um, obviously for some cars, it works greatly. For this car, uh, not the best. So, again, this actually, this controller feels really nice. I like it, I like it. But anyways, anyways, <clears throat> let's just go ahead and see the quality, because that's what really matters here. Alright, so for the sake of this video, I'm probably going to end up vacuuming all this stuff. So, I got one LED up there. You're supposed to be tucking in the wires over here. You're supposed to tuck the wires in from this trim piece all the way over here. Probably pop it out, put it underneath the carpet, and I have it underneath the seat right there. Um, it's a little bit different if you have a sedan, but I'm just gonna put it underneath the seat so the back, you know, the back seating, you don't actually see the physical LEDs themselves. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and do that side as well. Vacuum it up. Probably take the stuff out of the back so you guys can see the, the perspectives. But yeah, let's go ahead and see how they look. All right, and I just put it up there as well. Let me go ahead and see if I can turn up the brightness up in here. But yeah, guys, so basically I got a uh, LED strip right there. You can see the wire. It's coming back here underneath the seat. Basically, it's all adhesive. It's just you take off this little 3M thing here, and then bam, you just stick it underneath. Very, very easy kit to work with, and you just plug it into your cigarette lighter. I'm just going to go ahead and just wipe this stuff up back here, and then uh, we're going to sit in the back, turn on the LEDs, and see how it looks. See how bright it is? It is during the day. It's super bright out right now, so obviously I'm not expecting it to be crazy bright. And man, why is the screen flickering on the camera like that? That's crazy. Anyways, go ahead and grab the controller. Uh, where's that on button? So, this is how it looks now. This is how it looks with LEDs. I actually, I actually dig it. If it's white, hold on, let me check, see if I can change the colors real quick. So let's change it to like that. That's yellow. We got red. Okay, then we got like, okay. See, that's like that rice look that I don't like. That color is just so bad. Blue. Honestly, if it's white, we got LEDs on my feet right here as well. That LED didn't even mount it. Go ahead and put it up real quick. Right there. That actually looks really good. I actually don't know. From back here especially, like, lights up the footwells. It looks pretty good. I actually dig it. Quality is pretty good, guys. And what I like about it, the controller, um, you can go ahead and remove the adhesive and just mount it off to the side somewhere. Uh, you can actually see from down here, that's when you get you see the LED, so I probably tuck it in a little bit further back. But from up here, you don't really see it. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of LEDs, especially in the car, me personally. But if you're gonna ask me my opinion on the quality, quality is on point. The wiring is honestly, it's 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 a lot. So it gives you enough wire to be able to tuck it in and get it underneath wherever you want to get it to where there's no wire showing anywhere. So I do respect that. I do respect that their whole harness um, and how everything works. That I don't like the fact that you have to plug it into your cigarette lighter, but this is a plug and play kit. This is for people that don't know how to do any wiring, anything like that. So for the most part, it's not bad. It's not bad. I and mean, if you guys look at it real quick, again, I honestly like it back here. Like if you think about it, some of that comes in the back seat. This actually looks pretty good. And especially that's in white. So I like the white look right now. This is my feet down here right now. Uh, I always have happy feet. You guys always wonder why I have happy feet. I have no idea. Don't ask me. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and switch it to red. I wonder how it looks in red. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Mm, I don't know. Let's go ahead and switch the colors. You see back here, that's yellow. Camera's not really showing the best colors. This is blue. Blue's not too bad. I like blue. Purple. But if you go back to like white, yeah, like this is something I'll probably rock. Just for the fact that I'll be able to see the footwell, see the grounds. This is pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Again, I like the idea. It looks good. But before we actually end this video just abruptly, because this is a fully sponsored video, I want to see what LEDs can generally do. So I'm going to go down to Walmart, pick up some more LEDs. I'm going to pick up some LEDs for the trim. I'm going to try to do some ambient lighting in the car because I think that would be really cool because this is pretty much a whole LED video. So yeah, let's go down to Walmart, check out some ambient lighting, uh, and just see how that looks. Man, I really hate sitting in the back. But anyways, 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 guys. Alright guys, 
guys, it is so hot, so very hot. Uh, basically, we're heading home right now. Picked up some cheap LEDs. Unfortunately, these are not LEDs that you know you can actually throw around the car everywhere because it's got a very short cable. It's just not meant for the car. These the, the LEDs are just picked up. These are meant for like computers, homes. It's got like an outlet for like the home, like you know, to plug into a wall. So this isn't something. Let me turn off the AC real quick so you guys don't keep getting all this wind noise. Uh, but yeah, man, it is super hot and I'm fasting right now. And this ain't easy, man. This ain't easy. I'm sweating like a dog. I need to. I need to kind of relax before I lose all the water in my body and I pass the hell out, you know what I'm saying? All right, now these are cheaper quality, uh, what's it called, LEDs. I think these are thin enough to work as ambient lighting. So yeah, these are good enough for the ambient lighting. And this is good for like uh, the foot, the foot lighting and all that good stuff. Uh, actually guys, the brightness is great. I like it. The different kinds of colors it has is awesome. I already have this in my room. The lighting is beautiful, but during the day, you can't see it. So when it comes to brightness, this shore wins, and this is great for seats, but it is too thick for me to even try to do any uh, ambient lighting with it. So this is very thin, I know that for sure. I'm gonna try to see if this will work in a car. This is meant to be inside a house, but we'll see if we can at least do ambient lighting with this thing. All right, we are finally back home. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do the ambient lighting. I think this is gonna be super sick. Hopefully it comes out pretty easy. I'll show you guys how it looks in the end, but you guys can at least see a little time lapse with the process. All right guys, I've never seen a kit online because it's probably not gonna work, but, and it's probably not gonna be as fluid. But basically I got some LEDs going here, tucked in right there, right over there. Hopefully this trim piece will go over it just fine. So yeah, hopefully this will end up looking pretty good, but we don't know. Um, let's just go ahead, throw on this trim piece and see how the lights look. All right guys, you can tell between cheap LEDs and you can see by this kit that I use, these are really cheap LEDs. So you can see how like that you can individual LEDs, you can actually see them on that other kit that this video is actually sponsored by. You can tell the quality, like you can't actually individually see every single thing. That just shows how good quality their lights are. So I do recommend their lights for, like, for LEDs if you guys like that stuff in your car. Um, this kind of sucks. I didn't think it would be this bad, but you guys, you can literally see from over here, that looks pretty bad. And it's changing colors right now. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on white, because if I was to leave it, I'll probably just end up leaving it on white, or maybe even red. Uh, see if we can try red real quick. Yeah, so it doesn't look good. It, it, it just doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep playing with it a little bit, try to see if I can make it look a little bit nicer, but not feeling it not feeling it whatsoever now you know why you have to buy an actual good set of leds because if you don't it looks like that oh my god they just look so tacky that's so tacky all right guys we're in the car right now uh before we finish the review of the product real quick this is something i found that's pretty sick so basically it's not connected right now but you can download the app they have their app for this which is pretty dope and uh basically all you need to do is put in your product number which is for me like the 2AQ46, whatever that is. You just put in the product number into your phone and then you can sync your phone to whatever music is playing, the LEDs will change. Oh. Oh, this is crazy. Hi. Hello. Hello. That's crazy. What the? How are y'all just gonna flash when I'm talking now? That's crazy. So that's some new technology right there. Huh, they told me it works with music. I didn't know it works with the sound of my voice. Look at this. Hi, hello, I'm fake. I have no friends. This is sad. This is dope, this is pretty sick. I mean, again, me personally, I'm not a big fan of LEDs, but the, for what it is, it's pretty crazy what it can do for, I think this thing's like, it's like 20 bucks. And if you guys are a big fan of LEDs, this is pretty crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and play some music and uh, see how this stuff works. Of course, your boy's trying to find a non-copyrighted song, so give me a moment here. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. You're pretty much helping me. Um, this is a sponsored video. I know you guys like seeing videos like this all the time, and I won't be doing these as much. I try to just get like, you know, a short little one minute sponsor in the video. Uh, but this company is helping me significantly with the build. So shout out to them. And again, this product isn't for me, 
But it doesn't mean this product is bad. This product is absolutely great. It does what it does great. So for, for what it is, it is it is great. You guys can see the difference between cheap LEDs and you know good quality LEDs, and it's, it's a huge difference. It's a big difference. If you guys are looking forward to some mods on the M3, make sure to let me know because it might be happening sometime in the near future. I'm partnering up with Omega Tuning to help me up with a lot of sick things for this car, so I'm really hyped for that. I am also might be getting a future build pretty soon on the channel, so make sure you guys stick tuned for that. But without further ado, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth